hi, this is George Zacalius, and this is my Sprint 7 overview. So, um, for this Sprint, I focus mostly on uh, getting two players working and uh, getting the spawners working. Um, my HUD was having a couple problems. Um, I didn't get around to uh, fixing those uh, this week, unfortunately. Um, but yeah. So, uh, player manager, what I have right here, um, this is responsible for, um, creating new players. Um, when it creates the new players, it adds them to a list. Um, player manager, uh, can access the mushroom grid, the score, and the uh, live counts of each individual player well of the current player it's able to access the mushroom lives and score of the current player it can also it also is responsible for switching players upon death um so yeah so in order to go with that i created the uh, player object and the player object just holds all that data it holds the grid the, it also holds the input controller, so if it's an AI or if it's a human, like that, I guess that as of right now, that's the only reason why that would be different between them. That that doesn't make sense. Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, it holds the grid, it holds the score lives, it also holds the uh, current wave that this player is on. Um. So yeah, and then the player manager will just access all of that data and then distribute that accordingly to whoever needs it. Um, so yeah. And so along with that, I uh, did some work on my file handler. So now it can take multiple waves. Um, so yeah, wave one. It'll read all this, it'll then take all the variables and store those inside of wave one to be read later by the spawner. Um, so yeah, this is one wave. Wave two, I only have three waves right about of, as of now. Um, small thing I added is just commenting, the ability to comment just to make the text file a little bit more readable. Um, so yeah, it, it parses that fine. Um, file handling. Okay. Um, so yeah, going on to my spawner. So I made some changes from uh, last week. Uh, so now whenever the player gets hit by a centipede, by a uh, critter, It'll make a call to spawn the wave. So this is my method for um, whenever the player gets hit. So whenever the player gets hit, it updates the lives. Um, so it'll subtract the lives accordingly. If the player gets hit, it, I'll, I'll talk about that later. So updates the lives. It then clears the board of the, all of the critter, all of the current existing critters, and then. It spawns the, uh, it respawns the wave, and then updates the HUD display of lives. Um, if the player, the way I have it set up right now, the current player will. It it doesn't switch off between players after every hit. It'll switch off after each player it runs out of lives. So when a player runs out of lives, then it'll switch players. And, uh, yeah. So, prov get next player. What that does is it iterates through the list, grabs the next player. It'll then update all of the, um, variables. And then, yeah, and then any, the, any class that needs them can access them through the player manager. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, I guess I can kind of mention this. 
So wipe all critters. What that does is. Oh, this is this. Okay. So wipe all critters. It makes a call to each uh, critter factory. And what that does is. So so what I added is um, an active stack that keeps track of the um, critters that are currently uh, active on screen. And uh, when wipe critters is called, all that all that'll do is go through the stack, um, just delete everything, pop everything, clean it up. And that way there's no leftover critters when you switch into the next wave. Um, so yeah. So I can start with a demo. I can go into a demo. 245 rank four, let's make it three. Um, scorpion, 10, spider, that's fine. Okay, actually I have to build it again. Okay, centipede is blank three. <laughs> the the spiders still need states. That's something I still have to add. I, I'm still planning on adding that. Okay, so this is the next wave. Come on. Okay. And then this is wave three. So if I get hit three times then it'll switch players and so that's two and then there it switches to the second player who's on stage who's on wave three and then if this player dies it'll go back to the first player which who's on wave three so yeah oh why did it do that Never mind. okay well yeah that that's all i have for um this sprint so yeah